Hi and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for clicking into this video. Today, I am going to teach you how you can fix if your left alt and the windows key switched on your keyboard. Make sure first that you stay until the very end of the video so you won't miss any important information or fixes that I am going to show you in this video. So let's get on it. So first fix is does your keyboard have a windows and mac 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 mode switch so windows and mac keyboards are almost the same except for some modifier keys and some keyboards come with a switch using which you can change the keyboard mode to windows and mac accordingly and if you are using such a keyboard check if the switch is set to mac mode or windows mode Next, what you can do is to use some combination keys. So there are some combination keys or key combinations that help users fix this, fix this problem. So you should also try this. Try the following key combinations right here and see which one helps you. So after that, press the above mentioned keys for up to three seconds and see what happens. So check if which of these keys worked for you. And then after doing so, you can also, so, this the third one is are you using a 60% keyboard so a 60% keyboard is one of that does not have numeric pad arrow keys navigation cluster keys and function keys so in short a 60% keyboard has only 60% keys so if you're using such a keyboard press and hold to the f and plus w keys right here for up to five seconds and see if it, it helps and if that still didn't fix the problem, you can reinstall your keyboard driver. So if the problem persists, the cause may be software issue. So I suggest you reinstall your keyboard driver and see if it helps. So to do that, first open the device manager on your device and then expand the keyboard branch. And right click on the keyboard driver and select the uninstall device. And follow the on-screen instructions to uninstall your keyboard driver. And after doing so, restart your computer. And on the restart, Windows will install the missing driver automatically and check if the problem persists. And if it does not help, you can also try installing other supported keyboard drivers. So this can be done via the device manager. So go through this following instructions right here. So first, open the device manager and, expands the key and expand the keyboard's branch and right-click on your keyboard driver and then select the update driver and select the browse my computer for drivers and next, select the let me pick from a list of available drivers on my computer and just make sure that the show compatible drivers check box is selected and install all the available drivers one by one. So I hope this fixed the problem. Next, what you can do if that didn't fix the problem, you can remove and add your keyboard again. So this is the solution for Bluetooth keyboard, keyboard if you're using one. So if you're using keyboard, you can go ahead first, disconnect your keyboard and open the settings on your Windows 11 or 10, depend, depends on what you are using. And go to the Bluetooth and Devices page and you will see all your Bluetooth devices there. Select your keyboard and then select Remove the device. After removing your keyboard, you can restart your computer. And after that, add your Bluetooth keyboard again. And see, again, if that fixes the problem. And next, what you can do is to reset your keyboard. You can also reset your keyboard. So resetting a keyboard helps fix keyboard-related problems on the Windows computer. And then lastly, what you can do is to map your keyboard. So keyboard mapping is the process of assigning specific functions to specific key. And if the above fixes does not help you or the fixes that I told you that did not help or did not fix the problem, you can use this method. So you have to use dedicated software for this purpose. And there are many free keyboard mapping software available on the internet. So that's it for this video. I hope this helped you. And remember, you can always pause this video or go back to the video and follow the steps at your own time. So if this video helped you, please make sure to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell button so you won't miss a video. Thank you so much for watching and have a great day. Bye-bye.